Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. First of all, if you are new here, I post new book reviews almost every single day. So if you're looking to follow book reviews, then feel free to stick around. Now on to today's book. Today I'm going to be reviewing an audiobook that I read so I don't have anything to physically show you because I listened to the audiobook on the same phone that I'm using to film this. But the book that I listened to was Beginners, The Joy and Transformative Power of Lifelong Learning by Tom Vanderbilt. So I listened to this over the course of a couple days. I some longer drives in there and it is a shorter audiobook I think somewhere around eight hours so it is quite quick to get through so I listened to this over the course of a couple days because I was really intrigued by the premise and I wanted to figure out what this book was about I come from what I would consider a family of lifelong learners people in my family my extended family don't really stop learning when they get out of school and I've had the experience of a lot of older adults in my life continue their education informally throughout their entire life, picking up new skills. I think of even my grandmother who is in her late 80s who is still continuing to learn new things to this day. And I think that lifelong learning does have a positive impact in your life. I consider myself a lifelong learner. I do not consider education stopping when you leave the formal education system. Education is something that you should take responsibility for. And I think the education system should just give you the tools to continue your education in the areas that you would like to educate yourself in post formal education. I enjoy reading a lot of nonfiction. I enjoy learning new things, challenging myself to new skills. So I was super excited to listen to this book. I want to start before I go into the book about like my expectations of this book. I was starting this audiobook because I was hoping to learn a lot about the science, the benefits, how adult learners learn, that sort of stuff. I was hoping to hear about how lifelong learning can impact the brain, maybe impact the aging process, the benefits of being an older learner, an adult learner, positive stories about people who changed their life by being a learner later in life, maybe people who used to not consider themselves lifelong learners who then picked up that skill of a lifelong learner when they got a little bit older. So I was just kind of hoping for a more heavy focus on science as opposed to a focus on like activities that the author himself learned. And I think that when you go into a book, the expectations you have going into the book kind of impact the way that you view the book or how you review the book. So I just like talking about my expectations going into the volume before I review it. So in this book, the author was a middle-aged adult man who starts by asking a question that I think I've asked myself a lot of times too, something that I've just noticed, which is why do we give kids a lot of opportunities to be beginners and things, to try new things, but we don't give adults the same opportunities. I particularly find this in sports. I love trying new sports, and as a kid it was super easy. If I wanted to try basketball or volleyball, there was a camp for kids. There was no expectation that you knew what you were doing. You could just show up, someone would show you the ropes, and you could start having fun. I Obviously, if you wanted to get serious, um, you could go to a more serious camp where you could specialize very young into a sport that you were going to go on to. But to really be a beginner and try something new, I feel like the field was limitless when I was a kid. But when you become an adult, I feel like your field of opportunities shrinks by, in the sense that there's, if I wanted to join a sports rec league or a sport class, I feel like there's an expectation that I already know how to do this. It's much easier to be a beginner as a kid, but I don't think that's inherently, maybe there is some inherent process that makes it easier to be a beginner as a kid because as a child you still haven't fully formed like your motor skills and all of that. So maybe there is some importance to being a beginner often as a kid and you just haven't done as many things. So you're going to be a beginner in more things than an adult. For example, I've already learned how to read, write, drive a car, pay my bills. There's so many things that kids just have to be a beginner at and learn. But for things like sports and these other hobbies or activities that maybe you want to get good at, it's just feels like the world is set up to cater to kids being beginners a lot more often than they are for an adult to be a beginner. For me, there's an expectation to already kind of know what I'm good at, to specialize in it, and to kind of stick in those lanes. And that while there are opportunities, there's obviously exceptions to this, I do feel like the field kind of narrows. And that's something that I think shouldn't happen. I think we should still be giving adults the opportunity to explore new things and be um, open to being a beginner in new fields. So this was something I had already noticed and the author is starting to notice this as well after he has his daughter who starts to be a beginner at new things. He notices that his daughter is kind of allowed to be a beginner in a way that he is not allowed to be a beginner. So he decides that he wants to set a challenge of learning some new things, of being a beginner in these fields. Again, no one's stopping adults from being a beginner in these fields, but it just feels like it's more set up for children. 
He decides to take five new skills, surfing, drawing, singing, open water swimming, and chess. And he wants to learn them over the course of approximately a year, I believe the time frame was. Again, going into this with my expectations, I was really hoping for there to be a focus on the science, the benefits, the, um, the way that adult learners learn, the way that adult learning can impact your day-to-day -day life, the way that lifelong learning can have positive benefits, or I guess if they're getting negative benefits, negative benefits. I personally think it would be mostly positive benefits. I was hoping for more of that angle, a lot more of the science, a lot more of the studies, a lot more interviews with professionals, and people who had studied this phenomena or who had been lifelong learners. That was the angle that I was hoping this book would take. This book, while definitely not bad, I highly recommend and I think you should read it. I think you should go in with the correct expectation and that is this is going to be more of a memoir. This is more about Tom Vanderbilt reflecting on his year-long journey to become a adult beginner in these five practices. So it's him explaining what classes he signed up for it's him talking about how he felt engaging in these activities. It's him observing his daughter and him doing the same class and the differences between them. So I think that if I had gone in thinking this is more of a memoir, then it may have been a little bit better of a read in the sense that I would have had a better expectation going in because now I, I went in going with I went into this book with the expectation that we were going to be discussing more of the science and the research behind this, and it was more of a memoir. Once I kind of figured out this was more of a memoir, I adjusted my expectations accordingly, and it is really enjoyable to read about Tom Vanderbilt exploring these new skills, gaining these new skills. It is an enjoyable read. It's an enjoyable thing to see another person develop a new skill and become more proficient at a task that they would like to become more proficient in. So I do recommend it, but I do think if you're like me and you're looking more for the science and the research, then maybe we should look for another book out there that's going to hit those points a little bit more, uh, a little harder. I think he does, he does bring in some of the research and the expert, but he doesn't he doesn't focus on as heavily as he focuses on the memoir aspect of this book. So I think this would be perfectly paired with a book that was more heavily focused on the science. I do think having that memoir, that personal experience, that personal viewpoint is really interesting if combined with the science because then you could see how it played out in practice versus the theoretical lab research settings. So I think having both of those are very important. So now I'm kind of on the hunt for a book that focuses more on the science of this lifelong adult learning aspect. So if anyone has any recommendations on that, I would love to get a recommendation to pair with this book. But I think if you go in with the expectation of not getting a breakdown of the research surrounding lifelong learning, but more of a memoir of an adult becoming a lifelong learner in a variety of disciplines, it's an enjoyable read. It's a great read and I highly recommend. I've already recommended this to some people who I think would enjoy it. And if you liked anything that I said in this review, then I think you might enjoy it as well. If you have any thoughts, if you read this book and have any comments, please put it down below below because I love to receive your comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.